Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the void. I'm player one. And welcome back to Xenoblade once again. Now, I was debating whether to do another questing episode. And I was like, yeah, might as well. Might as well. And so that's what we're doing. We got a few more Colony 6 ones, and then we still got like... A whole bunch more still in Frontier Village and Alchemoth. So there is still quite a bit we can do. So I thought, let's let's just do another episode. So I looked at the list, and we do need to find Nopal Rick for this one quest in Colony 6. And I would assume Nopal Rick is still in Alchemoth. So let us see. In fact, I'm pretty sure I talked to him. Hmm. Okay. Let's, uh, let's see here. Really? Have I not talked to him? I guess not. Well, then where is he? Hmm. Oh, wait. Hmm. Where is the... If I go here, where is this exclamation mark? Because I would assume the exclamation mark just is where he is. And I don't have to actually go looking for him. Because this game does not do that often. It's like, is, is that him? I believe that is him, okay. Hello there. Oh, social butterfly. Is that talking to a bunch of people? Talk to a people 1,000 times. Huh. I did not know he did it that much already. Damn. What? It'd be you guys. I never think anyone would discover that I moved here. Oh well, can I do something for you? Makrish be looking for me. You guys just don't stop helping people, does you? Well, I have expected she would come looking for me. I suppose as I should visit her and say hello once in a while. And I'd be dying for a good meal. See you around the colony. Oh. That was... Huh. Where the hell was he? Was he just here all along? Hmm. Alright, well now, um... Now I just go back to her. Hi there. 
You found Noppel Rick for me. I thought I'd never get him back. However, can I repay you? You're the ones who are rebuilding the colony for us. You're so nice. It won't be long before this colony is truly multicultural. I'm going to do my best to help it on its way as well. Well, thank you, my Krish. Thank you. I'm a pris Oh. Oh, no. That's, that's not a good thing to say. Alright, now we got this one. And this one requires us to do some acquiring. Go. You know, I think about how much we've already done in this game, and then I remember how much more there actually is. So so much more. This game is so big, and it has so much content. But that's good. That's good, because it's a good game. Funny how Ricky is so short he he has to swim through the shallow water. Quite a bit, quite a bit. Oh. Hmm. Uh. Oh yeah. Yes.
You know, it's kind of crazy how we're this far in, and yet there's still these enemies in the early areas that are very scary still. One more. There we go. And let's go turn this in. Wowie! Thank you, friends! Fresh ingredients are key to Hawker's new recipe. Wait, hold on. Two seconds. Hawker's food tastes like food at last. Friends must try. No, no freebies here. Friends must pay like everyone. You, big kid. Silly Hawker. Hawker forget to say thank you. There you go, I thank you. Okay, feel like cooking for all of my honors. Okay. Oh, slight hostility, eh? Hmm. This one we need Ryan in the party. Friends hear rumors about Hoko's yum yum food? It's all because of friends help. Hoko have many regulars now. Hoko need more help. Cooking more still rage on. Can friends help Hoko get more juicy ingredients for restaurant? Okay. You sure you're gonna win this thing with those ingredients? How can I believe he can win? Help me or keep eating Hoko's real tasting snacks. Get moving, people. I'm sick of his stuff as it is. Oh yeah, let's go. Amazing! Friends gather up great ingredients just like Hoko asked. Hoko was worried friends fail and Hoko's food got worse. Wait here and Hoko make something for friends to try. Woo, how? Tastes great. Hoko can never lose with all these scrummy yummy ingredients. But Hoko have bad news. Friends not get free food. Hoko want friends to come back as paying customers. This is the second time now. Come on now. Ooh, Colony 6 Celeb. I guess that's a certain number of quests done here. Let's see. Oh, three star. Three star affinity with Colony 6. Nice. And now they're rival? Maybe? Alright, um... Now we need Shulk in the party and go talk to Talonith. I guess we got two. All right, and this one needs Ricky. Okay. Poca Poca is a food critic and wants to try all foods by honest. That is why Poca Poca has very important mission for friends. 
Poka Poka wants to taste the Hom's favorite bunya ham. Can friends find Ether Bunya and get me bunya ham? Poka Poka would get meat himself, but bunya are dangerous. Bunya always try to eat me. Someone should tell them it is the other way around. Pretty please. Ricky not like bunya either. Ricky not like getting chomped. Why would bunya eat you? Bunya get sick from eating you. Bunya stay well away from you. Meh. Ricky tastes like prize knob on meat. Every monster want to eat Ricky. Damn, just need one more. Alright, but we also got this one. What is it? You must have heard what the people say about my food. Bland, plain, tasteless. Some even say second best. I was once the sole ruler of food here. Self-crowned, I admit. The frustration has me tossing and turning through the night. Yet I've had a revelation after a fact-finding mission to Hoko's. The quality of his produce is astonishingly high. However, I will not sink so low as to copy his methods. I believe to improve the key to improving is then the quality of the utensils I use. This is where you come in. Yeah, that's a great idea. Better cooking utensils? That reminds me, Fiora needed a new chopping knife. But she would have got angry if I'd given her one for her birthday. I excuse me, but I believe we were talking about my predicament. Do you think you can help? Sky frying pan. Oh, okay. Alright. Where is said sky frying pan? On the leg. In Satoru Marsh. Okay, I guess I'll go get this first. It's at the sky frying pan is at the sky stage. Well, this will be quite a trick. But we're going. Also, folks, I don't know if you've seen, but uh, our new series on You Can Save Everyone is a little bit different than how our previous series have been, right? It's got a little intro, it's got a tiny difference in the title. That is how our series are now going to be formatted. But of course, I can't do that with these old ones because... It'd be nice to just have them all be the same, but any any new series from now on is going to be like that. You know, just a little more, a little more quality makes sense to me. No problem. 
Oh, there's the Ricky one. Nice. I think that's most of the use a person's arts achievements. There may be one more. Let's go back. So this is Banya Ham. Friends not sneak a taste? Never eat muddy a meat raw. It make chummy grumble grumble. Poka Poka asked Talonith cook bunya meat for food lover friends. Okay, line up. All friends get to try. Woo wee, very yum yum. Taste reminds me of home, but not in a good way. Give yourselves pat on back. Poka Poka has a good idea. Poka Poka will share with fellow food lovers as a reward. Poka Poka, not a connoisseur. Food tastes like swill. <laughs> Damn. All right. Now Talonith. What is it? Thank you kindly, strangers. My culinary delights may satisfy even the titans themselves, but I still lack one item to complete my collection. The nature's stove. Okay. Where's that? Near the X watering hole in Magna Forest. Okay. Oh, damn, that's far up there. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna pause here. I don't got nothing to talk about. I'm just gonna pause here. I'll be back when I got it. Alright, there we go. Now let's end this little quest line. Because I think this is the last of it. From what I'm seeing. You found it. Then my victory over Hoko is just around the corner. May he be blindsided by the brightness of the star that is me. Uh, for forgive me, I forget myself. I have put them to the test. The improvement is immediately evident. Hoko is done for. Next I must polish my technique and flair. Thank you for your assistance. I feel like the food quality is better than the, you know, stuff you cook it on. Actually, now they're worthy rivals. Very cool. Alright, so let me look at the list. So the next one is from Napo Rick. But I need... Melia. So, can't quite do that yet. Huh. Alright, I've looked over my list, and apparently the next quest that we can do without any other, like, prerequisites or nothing, or Melia, is in Frontier Village. We need to talk to Pipiki. Your friend 
to know who the most amazing Nopon is? It's Nopon Sage, of course. He lived by a waterfall. If you ask Nopon Sage to grant you a wish... Oh, Pipiki almost revealed a secret. Pipiki still believe in Nopon Sage. Little Pon so innocent. He do exist, he do exist. Friend of Pipiki saw Nopon Sage near waterfall. Friends not want to meet Nopon Sage? Nopon Sage like to eat, so friends should bring him food offering. Damn, so close. Alright. All grown up Nopon Sage, Nopon Sage not exist. Pipiki want to meet Nopon Sage and prove everybody wrong. Alright. The Nopon Sage, huh? And while we're here, who's this? Rasha? What quest is this? Yeah, I can accept this. Just needs Sharla. Tati was singing a lovely song. I wonder where he learned it. I want to try singing too. Huh? You big bastard. Oh my. I was looking for this specific link for so long. Now, for some reason, it just decides to give me it? Okay, fuck you, game. I don't understand how you work sometimes. Dang it, now I got the damn link. I guess I needed to wait for her to get this specific quest? I, no. Ah, what should I do? I wish there was another grown-up woman I could talk to about this. Oh, oh, this is a this is a specific quest for Sharla. She doesn't just comment on it. Whoa. Oh, fine. You mind if I talk to you about something? Of course, if you think I can help. Once I used to travel the world as a Nopon merchant. My sister Pon and I ran our own little outfit. It was so enjoyable. Then one night we were attacked as we set up camp by Earth Sea. I was badly injured, and my sister Pon lost her life. How awful. I'm so sorry to hear that. My sister Pon was Cherry's Mama Pon. Since then I have been taking care of Cherry, but she blames me for her Mama Pon's death. Time is supposed to be a great healer, but maybe Cherry doesn't want to accept what happened that day, even though she knows it was just an accident. I know better than anyone that it's hard to accept these things. Perhaps you're right, but still I wish it had been me who died that day, and not my sister Pon. You can't think like that, Rasha. But maybe... Yes, here's an idea. Tell me, do you know what kind of monster attacked you? It was near the Aether Crystal Deposit at Aerith Sea. It's probably still there even now. Maybe we could get rid of it. I know that won't change anything between you and Cherry, but you and Cherry need to find some way of getting over this. Her stubbornness has to stop sometime. If you could beat that monster, it would be a great help. The Pillager Hode. Hmm... <laughs> That's a big quest, damn. Alright, first... First, I'm gonna do this one. Right, Aerithsea, Magna Forest. I'm pretty sure benign crickets are just a collectible, so I can just... Hopefully find one right here. This is the wrong skip travel point. Oh, wait. All the way over here? Now to Earth Sea. Huh. 
I better... I don't want to be Sharla. There we go. I'm completely fine with Sharla as a character, but... Out of every playable character in the game... I'm not fucking playing as Sharla. I, I don't think there's many people who want to be the backup support characters. Not really. They want to do the damage. Alright, I gonna fight the big fuck off thing? Okay. At least we have Sharla to get far away things. Um. I don't think Bro is coming over here. No, go away. Oh, that's a completely separate quest. Well, I guess since we're here... What is a... Why did I immediately get a Chromar stone from that? Oh, that's why I... I'm an idiot. I'm a buffoon. Let's go turn this in. can make lots of offerings to knock on sage. Pipiki prepare offering right now. Come call on Pipiki again, friends. Right, so that's just the start of a bunch of stuff. I need to be even stronger. Oh, nice show. Right. So we got a couple ones done. Pretty good. And with that, I will end it there. I've been player one, and I'll see you next time when we 100% do continue on. We need Melia. We need, we need her back. We will continue on with the story. Alright. Bye-bye.